basically by the Indians, mostly in the summer. It used to be an Indian lookout. Chief Ninograd was said to have lived directly across the street from here. That was a lookout point um, for the Native Americans. My parents came here in the 20s. My family uh, first arrived in Wachill in the 1920s. We rented for the first three years, then we bought in 28, and we've been in the same house ever since. Watch Hill is where I've really centered my life. I think there's a great peacefulness in Watch Hill. You sort of relax when you get here. It's where I come to rejuvenate. It's where I come to uh, see all of my friends who I've known since childhood. The sort of core of people that I see more often than not are based in this place. It's not a very big place, but we just all have this kind of connection to, to our chill and love, love seeing each other in the, in the summer. Because the land was, was unforested, the views of most every house that, that was built from 1886 into the, into the 19th early 1910s, 1920s, had a view not only of the ocean on this side, but of the bay on that side. I remember that I had a little sailboat. I had a 13 and a half foot cat boat. It was just a lot of freedom, and that's what my children say they love the most. Some people played golf and some people played tennis. Swimming was always an interesting thing with the bathing costumes of the day. Covered from the neck to the toe. The swimming, which we all love, was so spectacular, especially for children. You know, right around here, there's just nothing like it. Porches, I think, are very important to a summer house. A great part for us of this house and buying it was just this porch. Not a whole lot of people sit on their porches anymore, but those of us who do, it slows down the pace of life. And several times we've been evacuated because a really big storm was coming. The 1938 hurricane is legendary. Well, suddenly you had a very substantial part of Watch Hill eliminated in two hours. It was just a real tragedy. The first lighthouse keeper uh, was a man named Jonathan Nash. And uh, he's famous also for introducing the idea of Watch Hill as a summer community for visitors to come and stay. I started going to the chapel in 1946. I'm just awestruck when I walk in. I'm awestruck by this space. I could be on the top of a wave hearing the first bell of the chapel. And at that point, I would ride the wave in, rush to the shower, change, and be here all within 15 minutes. The Watch Hill Carousel is in and of itself probably the most iconic part of this place because everyone remembers riding on the carousel. It's very special because it has no base to it. The horses are suspended. And the magic is when you're old enough to ride an outside horse and you're old enough to reach a ring by yourself. That's the secret. And at the very end is that brass ring. Every child who's grown up here has, has spent some time trying to catch the brass ring. When you catch it, it provides you with an extra ride. Watch Hill is small enough for you to experience it all. I think Watch Hill's getting to be a better resort all the time. It's, it's very, very special. Life was much simpler, and it was extremely enjoyable.